I sense the temple is free of the Daedric incursion. We are well pleased. While you fought for my glory, I learned more about our foes. Magistrix Vox used Daedric magic to split the seams of the wards around the High Chapel. Then she opened an Oblivion Gate to fill the temple with Daedra. You need to get into the High Chapel. Vox managed to bypass the defenses, but its wards are still in place, drawing on the full power of the Tribunal. We must get you past those wards. Without the blessing of each of the three, no mortal may pass through the wards and enter the High Chapel. You have more than proven yourself to me. You have my blessing already. You would compound the sacrilege that has already been wrought upon our temple? No, that is unacceptable. If you will aid us, you will do it with our blessings, or not at all. Go to the cloisters of Vivec and Sothaseel. My companion gods are absent, but they left trials I can activate to grant their blessings. Pass the trials, and you will be blessed. Vivek's trial will measure your clarity of judgment. He saw our blessed people through vexing times. His wisdom reveals the secrets others keep. So shall yours be put to the test. Vivek's teachings often take the form of allegories and tales. His lessons are learned by listening and then acting. His challenge exemplifies that approach. You must listen, then act. A temple worker named Varman dueled Belron and Telvani, slaying him before witnesses. But Varman was a loyal spy. To incite such discord was against his nature. As Vivek did, speak with Varman. Determine who truly slew the Telvani. My lord Vivek, I bear the most grievous news. Belron and Telvani challenged me to a duel of blood. I regret to say, I won. It was a small cut upon the arm, enough to settle the matter. But he fell dead. I was advising Tolnus and Galtza when the others arrived, Belron and full of anger, Fenila a sneer on her lips, and Morami resigned to what came next. Belronan claimed I'd interfered in his affairs. He insisted I knew what he meant. Of course not. I told him so, but he claimed it a lie and challenged me to a first blood duel. Then everything turned to death. My blade ended his life and directly caused his turmoil. I willingly submit to your judgment, Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his challenge. He would still live if not for Fenila. She stoked the Telvani's rage, urging him not to back away from an insult to his honor. She called herself his friend. Curious way to show it. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but assured me its contents were vile. One sworn to the temple, quibbling over coin. 
You should kill him yourself, my lord. Fenila lent Belronan her blade before the duel. I insisted Vaman and Belronan swap weapons. You'd think she was Ash Mountain the way she fumed. A tragedy, Lord Vivek. Belronan's death in the temple brings great shame to his house. I had thought reasoned words could dissuade him from the duel. Such temper is common to House Telvanni, but it's not my place to question their reliability. Vanilla's words are incorrect, Lord Vivek. Though she clearly believes them, I haven't contacted Balronan for months, and would never have done so without your direction. Wealth has no meaning next to serving you, my lord. This you know to be true. Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Though my blow caused Belronan's death, it was set in motion by another hell. I will aid you in discovering the source of this duel, if you will it. Lord Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his challenge. He would still live if not for Fenila. Fenila lent Belronin her blade before the duel. I insisted Vaman and Belronin swap weapons. You'd think she was Ash Mountain the way she fumed. A tragedy, Lord Vivek. Belronin's death in the temple brings great shame to his house. I had thought reasoned words could dissuade him from the duel. Such temper is common to House Telvanni. Of course I sold her poison. As your keen eye no doubt realized, the writing on Varman's note to Belronin was my own. He sold forbidden relics, so I gave him the tools to shame himself and his house. I'm delighted he took me up on it. I did nothing but provide opportunity for a heretic to destroy himself. The act of dueling anyone within the temple would undo him. It's only fitting the Fetcher did so with the tools I presented, and with such finality. Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Who? Lord Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his... Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin wouldn't share the... Morami sold me poison yesterday. I'd planned to hunt cliff races next week, but decided this was a better way to get rid of vermin, so I poisoned the blade. Belronin should never have traded weapons. Worse, he should never have lost to Varman. My lord, the life of one such as Varman bears no comparison to Belronin Telvani. Yes, I sought to root corruption from the temple by poisoning that pile of scrib jelly. I'd do it again. I did nothing but provide opportunity for a heretic to destroy himself. The act of dueling anyone within the temple would undo him. It's only fitting the Fetcher did so with the tools I presented, and with such finality. You walked in our skin and wrought our judgment. You exposed the lie at the core of all truth. This may be lost on you. It does not matter. We are echoes of Vivek. Nothing more, all things less. 
we recall the wisdom of his judgment, which differed from your own. You could not know. You are not Vivek. Both. Neither. We rewarded Vanilla for her cunning, yet House Redoran suffered for poisoning a Telvani in another's duel. We flayed Morami for her actions, yet elevated House Hlalu for its actions in exposing a heretic. Can you accept this truth? Through your wisdom and judgment, you have earned Vivek's favor. Receive our blessing.